yo guys, what is going on? Alex Pandre here, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are talking about the paintbrush change. Now the paintbrush change is one of my favorite, if not my favorite color change to date. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a very easy way to do the paintbrush change. And after we learn that, I have a surprise for each and every aspiring magician and sleight of hand artiste out there. So look out for that at the end of this video. Without further ado, let's get into the paintbrush change. Now the first thing that you have to get down is the right double lift. If you do the wrong double lift, uh, you know, for example, if I do this double lift, then I have to readjust it and then move and then readjust my fingers to get it in position. So the first step is to have the right double lift to put it in this position before you do the color change. By the way, if you want to learn double lifts, you can click right here, top right corner. I have a video on a lot of different double lifts. But the one that I would suggest is whether you get a break beforehand or not, you could do a push off as well, whatever the case may be. Again, watch the video that I suggested. You want to do the double lift so that at the end, it is out jogged to the right, all right? So you don't want it flush with the deck because then you would just have to move it out again and it's an extra step, okay? So step number one is get down a double lift that at the end of when turning the card over, it is out jogged or side jogged rather to the right hand side. Because then when we grab the card, it'll be grabbed in the exact position you need to to start the change, all right? So step number one, do a double lift, whatever it may be, even if you're starting out and you're doing one that is a very beginner one, instead of putting it on the deck, just move it out to the side and hold it like this so that you're taking two cards and you're turning it over as one side jog to the deck, all right? Then what you're gonna wanna do is grab the card in a position that is going to be useful to you or make it easier for you to do not only this motion so the cards stay together, but also easier for you to snap this card out on top of the deck and do the change, okay? Because essentially what's going to happen is this top card is going to be placed on top of the deck and you're gonna finish the motion, okay? So first step, double lift. Second step, how are we gonna do it? The third finger here, which is the ring finger of the right hand, goes underneath. The thumb will go to the right side of the card. So these two fingers are kind of squaring up everything here, putting pressure from the bottom and from the side, and then squaring up this way. And then these two fingers, the middle finger and the first finger, are in the back for support, all right? And this is how you're going to hold the card, or at least this is how I do it, all right? You can, of course, just do it like this without this, but I think this finger provides a lot of support for the color change. So one, two, three, four, and you're holding it here. Not only will this hold the double together nicely and firmly, instead of like this where it can come apart very easily, but this will also make the change much easier and you won't be, you know, splitting them apart, embarrassing yourself, and then having to explain why you have two cards. You know, that's always a plus. So get down the double, get down the fingering position, and then we can move into the technique. Quick note, for those of you wondering, hey Alex, where are you? Well, I am staying at Caesars Palace, Dubai. I travel to Dubai often, and Caesars Palace is my favorite place to stay. I mean, look at this place. How could you go wrong with that? So thank you, and big shout out to Caesars Palace for hooking it up. Go enjoy the sun now. Wait, I still have a tutorial to teach. Back to the tutorial, <laughs> let's go. All right, so once we have our double down and it's out jogged in the correct manner, we can go ahead and grab it with the right hand with the correct fingering position. Now what we're going to need to do is learn how to actually do the stroke, <laughs> the stroke, and make the color change happen uh, so that from the beginning to the end of the color change, it is one fluid motion, okay? The most important thing I think about for this color change is that you don't want to stop midway to do the change, right? Reposition uh, your fingers and then come around, right? So before any of that, before we learn to actually flip the one card on top of the deck, you're gonna wanna practice this motion first. And a lot of time in sleight of hand, we should be practicing the motion as if we're doing the slight without actually doing the slight, okay? This goes for things like uh, it with a coin vanish, right? How does it actually look when you're putting the coin in your hand? Same thing with a lot of card slights as well. So now when we take a look at the actual natural action of this color change, and by natural action what I mean is how does the move look without doing the slight? So it looks like this, right? All you're doing is you're taking the card and sort of painting on, or, or as this paint 
brush stroke like action um, is is done the card changes okay so you're grabbing the grip just like that you're moving the card now it's very important not to to do it so that it's off right just like this okay these borders line up perfectly like this when the card goes face down it'll go face down as if it's going on top of the deck squared and now you're moving towards the, your left right towards your thumb and above your thumb and now when it hits your thumb you want to come back sort of levering it on the left side of the deck and then moving it to the right so this side the left side of the card is going to be sort of on the deck the whole time all right so that's how you can do it and and you're you're pushing down your thumb and moving to the right and then here you're pushing down your first and and second finger of the right hand to bend the card this way and you're moving it to the left to the right to the left to the right to the left to the right to the left all right you got it all right the next thing now that we want to do is combine it with the two cards so you have your double down and now you want to practice this motion with two cards instead of one. So you already got your fingers, your brain sort of accustomed to doing this motion. You don't have to think about the left, the right, and keeping everything aligned. You can now concentrate on keeping the two cards together. All right, and that's the second part. So keeping the two cards together and do this motion. And, and usually, and for me, it'll come apart right about here. Now, a lot of times this isn't really the biggest of deals. Now, if you're a perfectionist, you want to never, ever split it, not even, you know, a millimeter. So keeping that in mind, get your grip so that when you do the motion, the cards do not split, okay? So that is step number two for this. And now we can put it all together with the simple step of leaving this card on top of the deck while doing the motion, okay? So now that we have these other steps, you don't have to sort of learn it all together. You learn it step at a time, and I think it'll be, you know, much easier to do. So you're coming here. Boom, that's one. Maybe you do it a second time, and maybe on the third time, when you come out, here's all I'm going to do. As I have the left side of the cards connect with my left fingers here, I can feel that. I'm going to lever this up. I'm going to push down just like I would with these fingers. I push down on it and I'm going to pull just a little bit. So you can think of it in two ways, either pull with the fingers like the first and second finger of the right hand or you push with the thumb. I tend to sort of think of it as pulling with the fingers and you can see how it splits right about there. All right, This is still just like that connected to this. All right, from here, it's connected, start to split, and now I'm going to do the exact same motion. And what's going to happen almost automatically is you're going to, because it's a part over here, as you get further and further away with it, you're going to lean this down. All right, so I'm leaning this down, and now I'm going to snap it off as I'm brushing this. So you don't want really to, you don't want that. To happen now the snap is not really a harsh snap the snap is really just a circumstance of what happens after this top card starts to move so you're gonna continue the motion here here and continue the motion now here is an important tip see that happening right here my thumb is catching that card and you don't want this to happen because then you might get this flash right here that's no good right so what do we want to do we want to make sure that the thumb is out of the way. Thumb here, thumb here, there is a difference. So thumb here, start to move it. Boom, once it's there, bend. Once it's bent, pull. And now you can move this up. Make sure the thumb is out of the way so it's clear and square. And now, continue the motion another two times. I like to think of it as you do it twice before the change and then you do it twice after the change, all right? One, two, boom, and like that. All right, when you are learning magic and want to be part of the magic industry, there are a lot of areas in which you need to be good at, more than just learning the slights, right? This is where today's video sponsor comes in Skillshare. Skillshare is an amazing platform where you can use premium classes to take your skills 
to the next level. There are incredible masters of their crafts on Skillshare that are willing to do just that. Share their skills. Huh? I get it. So that you can accelerate your progress with immersive content no matter what you are trying to learn. Members of the Skillshare community can access content that teaches them how to fast track their knowledge to give them the cutting edge that we all need. And in all honesty, it's one of my favorite ways to learn. Over the last few years, I've been enjoying Skillshare a lot personally and it has helped me learn a lot about different areas that I can then apply to my own areas of expertise. Now, whether I'm an expert in anything is debatable, but nonetheless, hey, this is why we are continuously learning, right? Now, while you are on the journey to becoming an expert performer that I know you can be, you might find value in courses that teach you about things like photography, business, and marketing. After all, this is what we are doing, right? Marketing our service as magicians, learning to deal with clients, creating good photography for our website, very important stuff. Trust me, start learning as much as you can about different topics and you will have your chances of successor way higher in whatever you wanna do. Now, here is the cool thing. I am able to give the first 1,000 people to use my link down below in the description one free month of Skillshare. So click the link below. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and now let's get back into it. All right, now putting it all together from the beginning to the end, you have the selected card or the card that it's going to change into on top and you're going to do a double lift that will out jog or side jog the two cards. Immediately you come in and you grab it at the right grip that we talked about. Third finger, second finger, first finger, thumb, just like this. I do suggest playing around with different grips as well. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Now this fingering position works for me because not only can I use it for this version of the color change, but I could do other versions as well. So instead of doing this, right, I can do maybe a version like this, which you could play around with after you learn the basics of it. Um, but nonetheless, so you have it here, you have your fingering position. Now you're going to come out. Now it's very important that you get that finger out of the way before because what you don't want to happen is you don't want to do this and then do this, right? And I'm guilty of this myself at times too. I catch myself re-gripping things and repositioning in the middle of the slight and then I have to think about it, get everything ready beforehand, right? And even if it helps, you could even let go of the deck, right? Once you're more advanced at this, let go of the deck so that you could come out here, grip it, and when you're ready to do the change, put pressure from here, 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 and here to hold this. So now you do the change and it's the same exact thing, but you're a little bit more sort of open with the hand. Um, if you want, you can do the change, do it, and then sort of just let the deck go like this as the change happens so it's more open. I also suggest at the end of doing the change, so after you do it, boom, you come out with this and you drop this hand a little bit lower. This is just a little psychological thing to separate to the card and the deck after the change is done, right? You could also play around with ideas of doing something like this. So you would have a, let's say, a five of hearts and a four of hearts. So you do the change this way where you're doing the five and then as it changes, you could put your thumb right there. So as if it didn't change just yet. So you're doing the actual color change hidden and then only now do you take off the pip make the five turn into the four um so if they pick the four you say look this was your card the five they say no haha you're a loser and you go Haha. and by that time by the time they insulted you you've already done the change you see how brilliant that is come on so there are a lot of applications that you can use this color change for i hope you enjoy it i hope you put it to good use and uh yeah that is that's all i really want to say for this just Practice everything from the beginning to the end. Uh, make sure your fingering position is good so you don't have to readjust. Also think about whatever happens before the change should happen after so it flows really nicely. If you put all of those together, I think you'll have a very nice color change. All right, time for a little surprise for everybody out there. And this is something that a lot of you have wanted for the past two years. See, I first ran my magic course back in 2020 and the way that the structure worked is you signed up beforehand, we got a bunch of students and we ran the course for five weeks. Now, uh, this was nice because you could have gotten in and did everything sort of on a weekly basis and you had a, a structure of doing the course. But I know a lot of people also wanted to do it on their own time, of course, uh, which makes sense. Um, and to, if they're a beginner, you know, skip the first week or whatever the case may be. 
Um, and this is what I've done. So I have moved the Magic Course onto a platform that allows you to do just that. This course is more than, you know, 50 hours of content, um, 80 plus videos, 100 different card slides and effects and routines. Um, so there's a lot built into it and I knew that it was very maybe tough to do him one week at a time to learn everything and admittedly it was a lot. So anyway, uh, the Magic Course is now available for you to purchase at any time. It also gives you access to all the material at once um, so you don't have to just wait for the next week, for the next week, for the next week. I think that's nice. Also, a lot of people like this, we have a payment program where you can pay monthly for like, I think it's three or four months, I think four months, is it? I don't know. Check the link down in the description. I have it right there. It's the Magic Course. I think it is the best Magic Course on the market and obviously I'm biased, but uh, I truly do believe that. I don't think any course in this industry comes close to this one. What the amount of material that you're gonna get, the amount of value, uh, my magic theory, everything that goes into it. So other than that, yeah, just very excited to have that out. I appreciate all the support and just let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. All right, guys, there you have it. That was the video. Thank you so much for sticking around and learning the paintbrush change here with me today. If you like the video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already because there is a lot more to come. And also check out the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next one. Peace.